Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're doing something which in my opinion is really fun. I really enjoy making videos like this. We are taking a look at some fake Yeezy slides. So this right here is my real pair. This is the core colorway. Of course, I've already done a full in-depth review on these. So if you wanted to go and watch that, you can. But today we're doing something a little bit different. We're taking a look at some fake ones. Now in the past, I've done videos on fake foam runners, fake Kanye merch, fake Travis Scott merch, Cactus Plant Flea Market, fake Amazon sneakers, all kinds of videos on basically like fake crazy replica sneakers. For me personally, I really enjoy it. And for some of them, they're clearly fake, but for others, they may help you out, who knows? You see any Yeezy slides floating around on the internet or maybe someone tries to sell you a pair, maybe this video will help you out. But of course, this is nothing to do with promoting any of these products or anything like that. So I've got a couple pairs here. Um, is the brand, oh God. The branding of the company is right on the top. Um, this is from an actual company that is selling these things. We've got some good old Amazon because you know, you can't beat next day shipping. When it comes to fake sneakers, fake slides, fake foam runners, whatever it is, there's places you can go and get them straight from China and they look incredibly good. They're like one to one. Now, of course, if you do that, you've got to wait around like two weeks, three weeks for shipping. I couldn't be bothered to do all that. So I've got a few different colorways here. We're going to start unboxing. I need the knife. I need the knife. Uh, we'll go for the Amazon first. To be fair, I don't even need a knife. It's just got a pull rippy thing. All right. Again, I haven't seen what any of these look like, so it's first time for me. So they send it in a little bag like this, like a little resealable Ziploc bag. Um, so first look, again, this is trying to replicate, I think, the bone colorway. Kind of looks similar. So let's pull them out. Okay, you're gonna smell the difference straight away. These stink, like pure, strong factory glue smell. There you go, there's your first look. Our colorway, this is the real pair. This is the fake one. We've really tried to replicate the design. Of course, it's got that uh, rugged outsole, which you can see here. So you can see the fake one is a little bit more texturized at the bottom, whereas the real one is really, really smooth. This is crazy. They've done a relatively good job, you know? Now, one thing is that's good is there's no branding on this so there's no adidas logo down on the bottom material wise i'd actually say this is a little bit more solid a little bit more rigid and this one feels definitely a little bit more soft malleable you can see i'm able to push it down on the yeezy one it's solid right it doesn't squish down all that much and even pressing into like the areas it's really a lot tougher than this one like this one is very it's a lot softer, right? But wow, the general kind of look of it is pretty similar. Like, geez, look at that. Now again, this is going to be a big issue, I think, for Adidas with people being able to make fakes of these has got to be so easy. I paid like 20 pounds, which is half the price of the real ones at retail. Of course, these for resale is a lot more. There's a lot of like just uncut, little bits around the edges where it just doesn't look as finished as this. This is obviously cleaned up, it looks good. The shape is definitely almost on point. I'd say the toe box on the fake pair is just a little bit bigger. If I can show you up close there, the toe box is just a tiny bit bigger. Pair number one down. Uh, let's get into this box. Um, so it does come in a box, whatever. So obviously these retail for 45 pounds, the Amazon pair, retails for 20 and this pair is 15 bucks i think okay um so obviously that's the resin <laughs> colorway let's get them both out here it comes in a box so i guess that kind of stands for something um if anything this video is to show you how easy it's going to be to replicate that we got a black colorway so I guess this could be what people wanted the soot colorway to be uh, instead of the darker brown color 
we wanted a black, or I wanted a black anyway. This one, I'd say, this, this is the Amazon one. This one's trying to replicate, of course, the bone colorway. Uh, this one is from that other company. They're trying to replicate the, uh, the resin colorway. And this one is, I guess, just its own thing. So, I mean, there are some dead giveaways. For starters, the branding is completely different. Let's say it had the Adidas branding, right? How are you gonna be able to tell? Well, for starters, the material is a lot softer. Same thing with these where, you know, they're squishy. They're a lot more malleable than the original slide. This is very rigid, tough material. So I'm just pre-warning people, these are going to be ripped off left, right, and center. To think these are all readily available, next day delivery, easy stuff. Let's say the manufacturers actually wanted to not just rip off the design and create their own product, but actually replicate this to the point where you think you're getting a pair of Yeezy slides and it turns up it's fake. So the dead giveaway is just look how smooth this is. Make sure you check. There should be hardly any imperfections, especially in the top. And if you look closely at these ones, you'll see there's all kinds of wrinkles, little raised bits. Uh, textured material of this foam stuff. Literally, if this didn't have that company's branding, it's pretty tough to distinguish it apart. Of course, I don't know how they get away with this because, I mean, you can clearly see what this is ripping off very, very clearly. So make sure, you know, you look out for the key things, which is the solidness of the material. Make sure, you know, there's not a lot of give to it and make sure it has, you know, the Yeezy branding on the inside. The cool thing about these is you should be able to legit check them with just pictures because there's not a lot going on. There's only certain things that you would be able to tell whether it's real or fake, right? The logos, make sure that they're, they're in the right place, make sure they're in the right font. Uh, the Adidas logo, which is literally just three little bars um, to indicate that it's made by Adidas and Yeezy. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for me today. Um, this room smells like glue. I'm getting a little bit lightheaded, so I'm gonna end it over here. Thank you guys so much for coming through, hanging out with me again. You wanna leave any comments in down in the comment section about what you would like to see next. Again, these are a bunch of fun. I love making them, and of course, Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. I'll catch you in the next video. Let's stay true to the originals. See you in the next one.